the logical function can also be represented in terms of Venn diagram. Okay, logical functions are also possible to be represented. So let us try to see. Suppose I have a two variable, and I want to represent that variable in in terms of Venn diagram. So how we can do that? Suppose I have a two variable, a and b. Okay. So what are those? Uh, what are the uh, total number of possibilities? Are four. Those possibilities are a bar, b bar, a bar, b, a b bar, and a b. Okay, so I have only four possibilities: a bar, b bar, a bar, b, a b bar, and a b. So these all are the four possibilities if I have two variables. And if I want to represent all these four possibilities in a Venn diagram, so how we can do that? So let us try to see. Let us assume I have a this circle represents A, okay, and this circle represents let us this represents B. So the portion here, this one, this particular portion, this portion indicates what it indicates. Can anyone tell me what is this portion? Red portion, shaded portion, A B bar. A B bar, perfect. I have removed the some portion of B from this one. Okay, so this is the A B bar that can be represented. Okay, if you see this, uh, this side, this one is what is this? A bar B. A bar B, perfect. Okay, and if you see. Uh, The middle portion, here, yeah. this portion is the common term like A B, and the outside is the A bar B bar. Okay, so this is really very important, right? So this portion or this side indicates A B bar. This side indicates A bar B. This side indicates A B, and the outer side indicates. A bar, B bar. So this is how you can represent logically. Let us try to consider some example. Okay, suppose I have a uh, let us assume some function is there. F is equal to A B bar plus A bar B. Okay, so how to represent the Venn diagram of that one? Which of the part I need to set? Sir, except the intersection. Except the intersection, all other part will be seted. Okay, so this part, no, 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 no. Except the intersection. And sir, and except the outer part also. Outer part also, right? Outer part and the intersection part. uh i need to consider these two also this section and the this section this will indicate or this will represent the uh this function whatever i have okay so i need to consider ab bar plus a bar b similarly uh let us consider one more example let us assume i have uh some function F is equal to uh, a bar plus b. Now, can anyone tell me uh, if I want to represent it in the Venn diagram? So, how to set that one? anyone is thinking about this one i just told you few few uh, slides back when i was saying like 
just convert POS to SOP. If you see here, A bar B, okay, which can uh, which max term is this one? Can anyone tell me which max term is this? So second. Second one. Please confirm. A bar B means what? Means what? Like suppose I have A. Yeah, we just saw this thing few few slides back, right? And I have a Y. So zero 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 one one zero and one one. These are the possibilities. And if you see here, the it was like A plus B. Uh, A plus B bar. A bar plus B and A bar plus B bar. This is not second. This is the third one, right? So this is the M two, okay? M zero, M one, and M two and M three. So this indicates M two, and we know that if I want to change SOP to POS, so M two is same as M zero into M one, uh, M zero plus M one plus M three. Okay, this is what we saw few few slides back. If I have the max term, which is M two, I can replace this max term with the min term, sum of the min terms, which is M zero plus M one plus M three. so if it is like this what does it means it means that m0 will be said it m0 is this portion okay if we, i am talking about the uh, uh, sop form m1 is this one okay uh, sorry m0 Yeah, M zero. Uh, no, M one is this one. This is the M two. Yeah, so simply I I I just wanted to write the things. This outer portion yeah, this indicates the M zero. This is the M one because this is nothing but this is A bar B. Okay, this is the M two and this is the M three. Okay, so we need to set M zero, M one, and M three. Okay, except M two, I need to set all the portion. and that you can represent this function okay is there any doubt anyone anyone has any doubt please let me know <coughs> in this uh, second example so this is how we can represent the venn diagram so you can do it uh, for any other examples as well right so yeah let me set it so that uh, that will be easily viewable uh, you will be able to understand so this is what i need to set this portion okay so this is the portion that will be said it okay now one more thing uh, <clears throat> about uh, we understand the different kind of logical gates right so uh, as of now we know the seven kind of gates three basic gates two universal gates and uh, two exclusive gates okay so we know uh, all these things but there are some alternative of uh, this both the gates what are those alternatives we are trying to see here if you talk about the uh, logic gears uh, we have we have a seven kind of different logic gears uh, which we already discussed the first one is a not gate and we know that the simple symbol for the not gate is this one okay this is the simple uh, simple symbol for the not gate uh, alternatively this not gate can also be uh, uh, drawn in a such way like yeah we you can also keep a bubble bubble simply indicates we are complementing or we are inverting the logic okay so bubble indicates the inversion and this box is like something uh, some 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 circuitry is there uh, 
uh, that is representing that logic. That that's it. So that is why we have uh, the symbol is something like this. So, okay. So the bubbled kind of uh, alternate symbol for the not uh, uh, not gate is uh, you just keep it to bubble just before the uh, triangle, and then that will become the not gate. Similarly, if we talk about the second kind of gate, which is the NAND gate, and uh, NAND gate, we know that from the De Morgan's law, we have already studied before. Uh, from the De Morgan's law, uh, A dot B complement, this is a simple formula for the NAND gate. And we know that if we have uh, a complement of a product, then we can also replace this complement of product term is a uh, the sum of the complement okay so the complement of product is same as the sum of the complement sum means we have to or two of the logic and before ring we have to complement the inputs so a and b both input will be complemented with the help of bubble and then we need to or it then that can be that can be the alternate symbol for the nand gate Okay. Similarly, for NOR gate, uh, if we have a, a complement of sum, then we can replace it with, with the, the product of complement. Okay. So, product of complement means we need to end it. And before ending, we should uh, complement both the inputs. Means we need to uh, install bubble before. So, this is how we can make it. Uh, we know that NAND gate and AND gate is complementary to each other. So the bubbled kind of circuit for the NAND gate to make the bubbled circuit uh, in the NAND gate, we simply add, need to add one more bubble uh, in this one and that will get the bubbled kind of circuit. Similarly, if we talk about the R gate, R gate is a complementary of NOR. So if we add one more bubble at the output of uh, this, this uh, same wall, will get the alternate symbol for the R gate and that will look like this one. Now the question comes for the XR and XNOR one. XR one is like suppose if uh, the XR is represented like this and we know that the expression for XR is A bar B plus AB bar. This is the expression for XR gate. And we know that the expression for XNOR gate is like A, B plus A, B bar. So, uh, a, 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 B plus A bar, B bar. Okay, this is the expression for XNOR gate. Okay, now let us try to see if I want to replace this XOR with the bubbled kind of thing, then what, what, what we can do? Let us try to see. Suppose if I uh, place uh, one bubble in any of the input. Okay, let us assume I am placing the uh, bubble at the input A. Okay, so how it will look like and I am using the XNOR gate. Okay, so if I am using the bubble, then it will become like A, B already I have. Okay, and A is like uh, 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 whatever the input I have, I need to complement it like because I have A here and if I will place bubble on the A because we have already placed bubble on A so that will become the A complement and B complement is already present here. So B should be same as it is whatever there and to make any logic XOR as XNOR with the help of bubble I need to complement any one of the input either I can complement A or B so we can see here a, uh, a complement becomes A and A, uh, and A, A, A becomes A complement and B is same as before. Okay, So we need to complement only one input and I need to use XNOR logic. Okay, So that is how we can make the XOR one. So yeah, here, suppose if it is A, it is B, then uh, I will get the expression something like this one. And the similar thing will be applied, like opposite uh, is also possible. Like if I want to make the XNOR logic with the help of XOR1, so I need to place one bubble uh, at any one of the input. Okay, And that alternatively we can make like this. So these are some of the uh, uh, alternate symbol for 
logic gates which we have already discussed before now let us try to utilize this uh, knowledge whatever we have uh, for the alternate symbols okay suppose if i have to yeah let us take one example and try to solve this this one okay suppose i have to uh, mm, find the minimum number of nand gate to implement a function a b plus c d okay so this is what uh, our question is now if you see here if i want to implement this logic okay so how the exactly this logic will look like let us try to see here because i have the f is equal to a b plus c d so f is equal to a b plus c d and if i try to uh, uh, design the circuit for this one so the circuit for this uh, function will look like i have to end two inputs where i will have a i will have b and then again i need to end two of the inputs which are c and d and the output will be r okay so this is a simple circuit based on the function without any uh, um, simplification we have done like this okay so this is a simple circuit what i will get and this is what f is now now that let us uh, go back to the question again i have to calculate the minimum number of nand gate needs needed so what i have to do i have to replace each gate with the nand gate okay so here i have a and gate here i have a or gate so i need to replace this uh, gates with the help of uh, like with the nand gate so let us see how we can do that okay to do uh, to to execute this one what i can do suppose i have a uh, we know that suppose i have a inverter and if i am passing an inverter to the inverter the logic will be same like a is here so i will get a complement here and again i will get a here so if i add two inverter back to back so the uh, sorry uh, uh, here i will get a two inverter back to back i will get the same logic whatever it was before okay so the, let us use this concept uh, to simplify this one why i am doing like this suppose here i have a end gate okay and to replace this end gate like to make this nand i need one bubble at uh, at the output or at one inverter at the output okay and also this is the or gate and to make this or gate as a uh, nand gate i need two inverter that should be connected before the input or bubble is needed okay so that is why i am doing like this okay so let us try to do that so suppose <coughs> i have a two and get here i have a, a b c and d okay and i will use one inverter okay another inverter one inverter and another inverter so after doing this uh, the logic will not, not change logic at this point and at this point will not change it will be same okay and now let us try to connect one or gate which we have already available with us so this is how it could be so now if you see here if we try to combine this block we can consider it as a nand gate this block can also be considered as a nand gate okay and now if you see here this inverter will be act as a bubble at the one of the input and this inverter will act as a another bubble at the input okay so these two inverter will be considered as a bubble in both the respective inputs so that will become the bubbled or gate so this will become the bubbled or gate so let us try to 
replace that one okay so the bubbled or uh, will look like this one let us try to see so uh, <coughs> here i will have a nand gate here i will have one another nand gate okay and then uh, if you see here i will have a bubbled one this okay so this is all what we will get after this one okay and if we try to simplify this one or uh, replace this logic finally we will get the circuit something like this so the final circuit will be like this okay so this is a b c and d and this is the f so total number of uh, nand gate which is needed to execute this circuit or to design this circuit will be the four here so now if you see here now this is uh, very important and we should understand few things this is needed so this is converted from here this is converted from here this is converted from here and this is the final one the structure which we saw in the first one, this kind of structure is known as and or structure. Now, this structure is known as and or structure. Maybe uh, a question may be asked like implement the logic with the help of and or structure. Might be they have <coughs> sorry they have given this uh, circuit, and the question may be asked like convert this circuit into the end or structure so you can do you you need to do it in the opposite way okay the second uh, if you see here uh, this logic whatever i can see here the second one that is end inverter inverter or logic okay so this kind of structure we call it end inverter inverter or logic this structure is we call it NAND and bubbled or logic. You know, bubbled or logic. And the last one we call it the NAND NAND logic. Okay. So this is what we should understand the the property of different logics whatever we have executed. So the the answer of this question is uh, the minimum four gate. Yeah, I have taken too much time to explain this thing, but yes, you should know because uh, at each stage we are getting the different kind of logic structure. Initially we had a structure of and and or, and then we are getting and inverter inverter or, then we are getting nand and uh, bubbled or. And then uh, finally, we are getting NAND NAND structure. So uh, the, the questions can come from anywhere, like any kind of logic can be asked. Okay, and accordingly, you have to manipulate your uh, circuit. Okay, so yeah, so three NAND gate is needed. Uh, homework is like uh, minimum number of NOR gate needed to implement the function f is equal to a plus b into c plus d. The similar kind of concept really will be utilized. In initially the circuit will be uh, or end structure because first I need to or then I need to end it so the initially circuit will start from or end structure and I have to convert into the completely nor okay so uh, do it your home and uh, this is easy easily and this is doable okay uh, so yeah question, please. question asked for using the minimum number of NAND gates yes so, but at last, like uh, initially we were using two NAND gates, but uh, from converge, converting the things, hmm. at last we are using three NAND gates. Hmm. So, 
So shouldn't we reduce the number of NAND gates or uh, only uh, use the NAND How gate? we can uh, see initially we use AND gate, not NAND gate. Remember this thing. Initially we used uh, NAND. So see the, the the meaning of this question is uh, you have to convert this function completely in the NAND kind of uh, structure. Okay. So see here. If you see the first circuit, in the first circuit, uh, uh, there is no NAND gate. Okay, so you can say uh, zero NAND gate is needed. No, it is not true. The, the meaning of this question is you have to implement this function with the help of NAND circuit only, and then you have to tell us how many minimum NAND gate is needed. Okay, okay. yes, thank you.